The head of U.S. Central Command, General Michael Carrilla, has arrived in Israel to prepare for a possible attack by Iran. U.S. officials said Wednesday, U.S. intelligence reports showed an attack by Iran or Iranian proxy groups could be imminent. Iran blames Israel for an airstrike on an Iranian embassy building in Syria last week, killing three senior Iranian military commanders. Iranian leaders have publicly vowed revenge. U.S. officials claimed they were not involved in the attack and said they had received no word from Israel that it was planning a Syrian strike. President Biden on Wednesday reiterated the U.S.'s commitment to Israel's security. We also want to address the Iranian threat to launch a significant, they're threatening to launch a significant attack on Israel. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. We're going to do all we can to protect Israel's security. Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei wrote in a post on X, Israel should be punished and it will be punished for the Syrian strike. It's unclear if Iran will use its own military forces to directly strike an Israeli target or if one of Iran's proxy groups, either the Houthis in Yemen or Hezbollah in Lebanon, will carry out the possible attack. Since the Israel-Hamas war started, Tehran has avoided a direct confrontation with Israeli or U.S. forces. U.S. officials have said they're concerned an Iranian attack could escalate the war in the Middle East, causing a broader conflict, as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has also vowed revenge on any attack against Israel. So far, more than 1,200 Israelis were killed when Hamas unleashed terror on a small Israeli village back on October 7th. And the Palestinian Health Authority, run by Hamas, says more than 33,000 Palestinians have been killed since Israel retaliated against Hamas.